hello friends welcome back to our youtube channel so today in this video we'll see the first assignment from the part c of data science and big data analysis lab okay so here we'll see uh, here you can see that the problem statement so the problem statement for the part c assignment one is we have to create a review scrapper for any e-commerce website to fetch real-time comments reviews ratings comment tags customer name using python okay so to implement this website we'll need anaconda or the jupyter notebook so the link for downloading the anaconda is given into the description box you can download the anaconda from there uh, the link uh, is for the 32 bit system and it's of older version but you can still install it into the 64 bit operating systems and i recommend you to install that only because in the latest version some systems have the problem uh, while installing and they will get the error that failed to create menus so do uh, install it from the given link only then next is uh, we'll need an e-commerce website okay any e-commerce website and uh, any browser okay so we'll see now if whenever you install the anaconda you will see that anaconda prompt will be there in your start menu if it's not you can search here anaconda prompt and just you have to click on it after clicking you will see that the base and you will see the path so here you have to type jupyter space notebook in lowercase and you have to press enter so they automatically it will open into your default browser and if it's not open then you have to copy the link that you will get into the terminal like this copy and paste this url into your browser when you connect for the first time okay so you have to copy this link till here and you have to paste it into your browser if it's not open by default okay so now you will see this home page of the jupyter so from here you have the option of new so you have to click here and you have to select python 3 you can rename the file by double clicking on this and you have to rename okay. so i have already created the file so i'll just open it so see this is the assignment one from the group c so as we have seen the problem statement so here first understand what is meant by this web scrapping okay so basically we are performing here web scrapping so first understand what is web scrapping so web scrapping is nothing but to pull out the necessary data or to scrap the data from a website the required data because in a website we are having data in a large amount and that is actually not required for us okay so that's why we are only scrapping or pulling out the required data from the website and here we are using e-commerce website so now uh, the website I am using is about the product on the Flipkart. So the link of this website is also mentioned in the description box. You can take any e-commerce website and select any one product and uh, just paste the link of that into this. Okay. So I'll open this link into the new browser, new tab. See, this is the Poco C31 product from the Flipkart. Okay. So now. For this assignment, we will require some libraries and uh, we'll import these libraries. Okay, so first is request library and second is BS4. So now let's understand what is the role of these uh, libraries. So first is request. So request library is nothing but it is used to send HTTP request to a specified URL. Okay, we have to send the HTTP request to a specified URL using get post uh, get post put etc methods but here in this case we will be using only get method okay so in short we are either retrieving the data from the website or we are pushing the data to a server but in our case we are just retrieving the data from a website okay so now it in short it works as a request and response protocol between a client and a server we are a client we are uh, retrieving the information and the server is where uh, the server is the website which provides data to us okay so the next library is bs4 so bs4 is used for pulling data out of html and xml files so okay so request library is used to is used for what is used to request access okay is used to request the access and second one is bs4 so bs4 is used to pull the data from the website okay and here we are using bs4 uh, in the assignment okay so now 
here we have to first send the request right so we have to send the request to the website so that they can share us the data so for that i have created one variable request one you can create any variable and then i have called the get method from the requests library so see here is a dot operator dot operator means get method from request library and then i have mentioned the link of the website or the product okay and then i have print the request one so see i'll run it okay so see i have got 200 responses okay the next is i want to print the content of the request so whatever the content is there i have to print it i have to see what the content is there inside this so i'll write request one dot content and i will run it you can see that this is the some raw html document you will get okay and now next is we have to create one variable and inside that we have to we have fetched this right request one inside this we have the this website data so we have to store it into one variable that is soup and for that i am using bs4 library okay so bs4 library dot beautiful soap so beautiful soap is a method inside this bs4 library and i am getting the text okay i am getting the text here we have got the content and here i am getting the text so, okay so if i run it you will see nothing but if i print it soup you will see some text see here you will see the text okay now we have to fetch the reviews or comments so in our problem statement it is given as to fetch real time comments reviews so in this case reviews and comments will be same so we will be fetching the reviews okay so for that you can see that if you scroll down you will see these are some reviews okay these are some reviews and we have to fetch this so for that what we have to do first of all we have created one variable that is reviews and inside that we have used soup dot find all okay find all underscore or you can just write it as find capital a all and then here you have to mention the tag which html tag so here it's division you can write it as span paragraph anchor tag according to the data you want to fetch so see here i want to fetch the review so i'll just select this and i'll right click and click on inspect okay so after clicking on inspect you will be the division in which that particular highlighted text is there it will be highlighted so click on expand and you will see that this okay so go to the class where it is present to the parent class okay so see here here it's division and divide division class but here there is nothing any class written so you have to go to the parent class so here here this is the parent for this but here also there is nothing class so go to the his par its parent so here it is tztky so just copy this and paste it inside this class make sure you have written the class in a single quotes colon and in the single quotes again the name of the class if it's id you have to write here id okay and then as there are multiple reviews okay we are finding all the reviews so for that we have to use the for loop we have to iterate right so for that i have created again one variable review and i am checking whether that is present in this or not so for review in reviews print review dot get text dot get text and then i am just adding this if you don't add this it will be fine okay will but you will see this one by uh, one below the other and not the spacing between these uh, reviews so that's why i have added it so in this way you can fetch the reviews or comments find all method is used to find all the reviews inside this okay so similarly next is we have to fetch the ratings so see here you can see that rating is of two types first is the overall average rating and the individual rating okay individual rating so see if you want to scrap this or you have you want to fetch this rating select it and right click and click on inspect so see here you will see the division class for this okay so just click right here 44.4 is the rating so the, the name of the class is slash uh, sorry underscore 2d4ltz so copy it go to your 
this and uh, here you have to again create one variable ratings from the soup method as now see here we have used find all because there are multiple reviews but for ratings it is only single review because we are calculating average overall rating so for that we will be only using find method so this is division class and just paste the name of the class okay and then dot get text as it's single so that's why we have to use here dot get text and then just paste you will get that 4.4 so see here 3L so wait a minute 3L right so you can also paste this class so I have copied it and here I'll paste it you'll still get the same 4.4 okay so the next is individual rating now we'll fetch the individual ratings on this page that is 3 then 4 okay so these ratings will fetch so for that select any rating and right click and click on inspect so see you will get the class so just copy that class and just paste it in inside this class but now here you can see that if you are fetching the individual ratings then there will be multiple ratings right so for that we have to again use the find all method same create one variable use find all method from the soup give the tag name class and then the name of the class now again create one variable and search for that inside this created variable that is individual ratings and then we have to print this dot get text plus slash n okay so if you run this you will get that the ratings but remember that you will only get the ratings from the first page only because if you change the page you will be getting the different id uh, different url okay so now next we will fetch the tags so here there are nothing any tags but uh, here one is hashtag okay so if you scroll here you will see that hash just here so select it inspect it you will see that just here copy the class now see here it is a span tag okay so span tag so we'll do what again create one variable soup dot find name of the tag that is span and the class name and then dot get text and then we are printing this tag you can write this simul simply direct tags or you can write it as print tags it is one and same Okay, just print you will get that hash just here okay remember that we are using this dot get text method when we are fetching individual entries and if we are uh, fetching uh, all or the multiple then we are using that inside this print statement which is present inside the for okay now we'll fetch the customer name okay so now we'll fetch the customer name so now you can see that in the review section there is name of the customer who has reviewed or uh, fed, uh, given his feedback on this product so we have to fetch this name okay so for that what you have to do you have to select it right click click on inspect and you will be redirected to the class so just copy this class and again you have to paste it inside this okay so i'll paste it from here so paste so see again create one variable soup dot find all as there are multiple customers so we will be using find all method from the soup okay so now it is a paragraph you can see that it is a paragraph so i have written here p class then again for cust name this is the variable i am created the next in customer name i have to check this in this customer name and if it's present i have to print customer name dot get text so see here you will get the names of this customer and uh, this that's it for this assignment that according to the problem statement because see here we have faced the real time comments reviews ratings comment tags and customer name using python but if you want to extract the, or fetch the mo uh, more information you can try this command so here we are fetching the price of the product here we are fetching the questions and the answers and here we are fetching the specifications so see in a nutshell if i want to sum summarize then you have to remember that we have to import the two libraries request and bs4 request library is used to send the http request using the cat method to a specified url bs4 is a beautiful soap library which is used uh, which is used to pull out the data from the html and xml files then we have created one request variable and we have sent the request to a url then we are printing the content inside that variable then we have created soup variable and inside that we have fetched the text content from the request variable 
नेक्स्ट इज वी आर फेचिंग द रिव्यूज एंड कॉमेंट्स सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू क्रिएट वन वेरिएबल इफ देर आर मल्टीपल कॉमेंट्स और रिव्यूज और द मल्टीपल इन्फॉर्मेशन वी हैव टू यूज फाइंड ऑल मैथड एंड वेन एवर वी आर यूजिंग फाइंड ऑल मैथड मेक श्योर दैट यू आर नॉट राइटिंग डॉट गेट टेक्सट हियर और एल्स यूल गेट द एर सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू यूज द फॉर लुक एंड देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट द रिक्वायर्ड कंटेंट नेक्स्ट वी आर फेचिंग द रेटिंग सो देर रेटिंग्स ऑल्सो देर आर टू टाइप्स दैट इज एवरेज ओवरऑल रेटिंग एंड द इंडिविजुअल रेटिंग्स सो फॉर द एवरेज रेटिंग देर इज वी हैव टू राइट द डॉट गेट टेक्सट मैथड ओके एंड देन फॉर इंडिविजुअल रेटिंग्स वी हैव टू राइट द डॉट गेट टेक्स मैसेज इन साइड द प्रिंट फंक्शन विच इज इन साइड द फॉर लुक नेक्स्ट इज द टैक्स वी आर फेचिंग सो इफ देर आर प्रेजेंट टैक्स देन यू कैन राइट टैक्स वी हैव टू मैंशन द टैग name then we have to mention the class if it's id right here id make sure you have follow this syntax or else you will get the error next you have to fetch the customer name so create one variable as there are multiple customers so we are using find all method then paragraph tag class and the name of the class and then again use the for loop and print the customer names then there are some extra comment uh, commands that you can try so that's it for this assignment that is the web scraper assignment see you in the next video thank you